All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Stella. And I'm Haley. And today we're going to be reacting to Blade Runner. Uh, this is, you know, one of the most famous science fiction films of all time. Neither of us have seen it, so this is going to be a first time reaction for both of us. And I personally don't know very much about it. Do you? I know Harrison Ford is in it. Yeah, that's like the extent <laughs> of my, much it. my knowledge. <laughs> Um, the things I know about this film are more the things that go like ha happen around it. I know that there are several cuts of this movie. Right now, we have just gotten your standard whatever I, whatever cut is like the most traditional. <laughs> so let us know if there are like little tidbits that maybe aren't in this one that are in other ones. Um, but yeah, that's most of what I know about it. So I'm pretty excited to get into it. I, I know it's like a sci-fi futuristic thing and we've been doing a lot of that. So I'm pretty excited. As always, the full-length reaction will be up on our Patreon along with early access to next week's reaction, which hopefully will be Blade Runner 2049 is the one that came out a few years ago because um, I've been wanting to see that for a really long time. But uh, yeah, go check that out, please. Thank you guys so much for being here, joining us and watching and let's just get into Blade Runner. I don't recognize any of these names besides Harrison Ford. Ridley I did not know Scott. this is Ridley Scott. <laughs> okay, this is making more sense in terms of like this this era of film. Replicant. Oh my gosh! It's is like this Terminator. the Terminator? People are gonna <laughs> people are gonna hate us for saying they're gonna be like it's different. It's a different movie. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Ooh, yikes! Just because you it's call feeling something very different like, doesn't mean yep. it is. Feeling very like George Orwell, or like Brave New World type future, where mm -hmm. they're just like we're just gonna rename things. Twenty nineteen. You guys, I'm never gonna get over watching these movies now, so many years later, for the first time, seeing the dates. Oh, geez. Next subject, Kowalski Leon. Come in. I really like the set design. Just, the I don't know, fans. I guess the atmosphere they're, of it. They're too big. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. Everything just looks a little off, and there's like this weird smoke True. in the air. It just feels very suffocating. I'm kind of nervous when I take tests. Oh, relatable. I don't think I've ever had the one action of these. time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. I answer as quickly as you can. Are they like testing him to see if he is a replicant? One one eight seven Hunter Vosser. That's the hotel. What? Where I live. That was so aggressive. What? You're in a desert, walking along in the sand. What? Warm. What desert? How come I'd be there? Maybe you're fed up. Maybe you want to be by yourself. Who knows? This man wants all the info. I don't blame him. Yeah. To give a a good, well-rounded answer. You know what a turtle is? Of course. Same thing. <laughs> no. Millions, millions of, of biologists grown. <laughs> you reach down, you flip the tortoise over on its back, Leon, beating its legs, trying to turn itself over, but it can't. I mean, you're not helping. Why is that, Leon? This is so odd. It's a test designed to provoke an emotional response. He looks so stressed, this poor guy. I know, I feel bad. Let me tell you about my mother. <laughs> Very jarring. Wow, okay. So are we... Oh jeez, are we meant to think this guy maybe is a replicant? A replicant trying to, you know, Pass pretend to be human off for now. As a human? Like, this is always the, the difficulty. If it's indistinguishable from people, like from a human being, it's gonna fight like a human being. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's person at that point. Like, if you've recreated intelligence or like self-consciousness, then y'all, they have rights. Futuristic Chinatown. This, I was gonna say this looks different to how I thought it would. Like this is a very grimy future city. That was my profession, ex-Blade Runner. Three, four. Sushi, that's what my ex-wife called me. Cause he likes sushi? What? <laughs> he say you under arrest, Mr. Decker. 
Love that this guy could speak English the whole time. <laughs> he say you brave runner. Captain Brian Toga. Brian, huh? So another thing I do know about this movie, and actually I'm not 100% on this, but I'm pretty sure, is that it's kind of a famous example of like film noir style, but it's mm. in the future. And that'll be interesting because we haven't reacted to like anything from that decade of, or era of film. Um, and I don't think we've reacted to anything black and white even. So like the old detective movies and film noir and like Humphrey Bogart stuff, we don't even know. So we don't have a reference necessarily for a lot of these mm -hmm. homages. Charmer's name was Gaff. That gibberish he talked was city speak, a mishmash of Japanese, Spanish, German. Oh, interesting. I was like, that does, I was thinking it didn't quite sound like any uh, of the like languages anything. that I recognized. Hiya, Dick. Brian. I've got four skin jobs walking the streets. They're called skin jobs? They jumped a shuttle off world, killed the crew and passengers. Give it to hold. It did. He can breathe okay, as long as nobody unplugs him. Oh, so he lived. Wasn't he the, the guy who was asking questions? It was quit when I come in here, Brian. You know the score, pal? You're not cop, you're little people. He made a little origami. No choice, huh? No choice, pal. Jeez. Oh, there was an escape from the off-world colonies two weeks ago. Three male, three female. They slaughtered 23 people and jumped a shuttle. I was about to be like, they don't seem that violent unless they're threatened, but apparently... Yeah, but the, everyone's <laughs> threatening them. Yeah. yeah, when your existence is outlawed, everything's a threat. Ah. On the possibility... Because honestly, I'm sure they just want to like, exist. Yeah, of course. Roy Batty, probably the leader. This is Zora. The fourth skin job is Pris. The designers reckon that after a few years, they might develop their own emotional responses. So they built in a fail-safe device for your lifespan. Interesting. Now, there's a Nexus 6 over at the Tyrell Corporation. I want you to go put the machine on it. The machine? I'm Rachel. Is this to be an empathy test? We call it Void Comp for short. Dr. Eldon Tyrell. Demonstrate it. I want to see it work. What? Hmm. Do you mind if I smoke? It won't affect the test. All right, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. It's that film noir atmosphere, man. Someone gives you a casket wallet. I wouldn't accept it. He shows you his butterfly collection, plus the killing jar. Why do her eyes look like that? I take him to the doctor. I don't know. It's interesting. You're watching television. Suddenly you realize there's a wasp crawling. I'd kill it. Just answer the questions, please. What's the question? He hasn't asked a single question. <laughs> I know, yeah. A banquet is in progress. The entree consists of boiled dog. Would you step out for a few moments, Rachel? What a confusing test. Very, and a confusing response as well, yeah. Rachel. It's odd. I'm wondering if this is one of those movies where you're going to have to wonder the whole time. Okay. Yeah. Nah, they're not letting us wonder. <laughs> How many questions? Took more than a hundred for Rachel, didn't it? She doesn't know. She's beginning to suspect, I think. She hmm. doesn't know that she's a replicant? Rachel is an experiment. Nothing more. If we gift them the past, we create a cushion or pillow for their emotions, and consequently we can control them better. Implant some memories into the robots. Okay. One one eight seven is Hunter Vars. That's the hotel. What? Is this another detective? Who are we meeting up with? Oh, I'd be so hesitant to touch anything in a stranger's bathtub. Really? For real? I'm wondering if this is, like, replicant residue. Looks like randomonium from Scooby-Doo 2. <laughs> this is, like, his thing to just take random objects and make them into, like, little figures. And family photos? Replicants didn't have families, either. Hmm. Time. Enough. Isn't this one of the replicants we saw on the slide show of them? I think so. Yeah, yeah, this is the other one. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> the really bleached blonde hair. Did you get your precious photos? Someone was there. <laughs> Sir? In like this freezing laboratory? <laughs> yeah, what is he wearing? Morphology, longevity, inceptate. He's throwing out so many big words. I just do eyes. Just eyes. Just genetic design. Just eyes. Can they like replace their eyes or something to like fool the test? I don't know answers. Who does? Tyro. Not an easy man to see, I guess. Oh, stop. Stop it with the eyes, please, sir. Sebastian, you take, take you there. Sebastian. What are they doing? They're just like putting eyes on him? Where would we find this J.F. Sebastian? Hmm. About your mother. Mother. See, I think I thought they were going to make I'll tell you about my mother. us more sympathetic towards the replicants, but so far... Well, okay, but he... <laughs> This is odd because these don't feel like your these don't feel like your average average replicants. It feels like they've got something else motivating them. There's something weird going on. Rachel, what you doing, girl? I don't know why he told you what he did. Talk to him. He wouldn't see me. Her coat is giving like. Effie Trinket from The Hunger Games. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Gosh, every shot is so dark. <laughs> I know. I know it's on purpose, but, but dang, guys. <laughs> it's the contrast. It's the lighting. Look. It's me with my mother. They gave them fake photos, too? With their fake memories? We don't know, though. This is so... We've only been told she's a replicant. Do we have proof-proof? Well, he, you and your he an according to the test, he thinks she is, too. You were gonna play. Mm hmm You remember the spider that lived in a bush outside your window? And one day there's a big egg in it. The egg hatched? Yeah. And a hundred baby spiders. <laughs> Do they implant them with, like, all the same memories or something? Those aren't your memories. They're Tyrell's nieces. You're not a replicant. Go home. Okay? I can't take that back, though. Yeah, what did he think was gonna happen? They, they're programmed to have human emotions, like... I know! It, it, obviously she's gonna be upset, bro! And like, nothing about her has changed. Just that she now knows. Tyrell really did a job on Rachel. Right down to a snapshot of a mother she never had. That's awful. Got your bag. What's happening? <laughs> I feel like she's like about to beat this man up or something. Like, why'd she punch his window? I, I don't know. What's your name? Pris. Mine's JF Sebastian. Oh, that was the name of one of the. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's was. JF Sebastian. Okay, great, perfect. I'm hungry, JF. You want to come in? I was hoping you'd say that. It was, it was nice knowing you, JF. You live in this building all by yourself? Those yeah, mannequins. I live here pretty much alone right now. Awful. Terrible. Hate them. I make friends. My friends are toys. I make them. Yeah, I'm a genetic designer. Yahoo! Home again. Home again, home again, diggity dig. That, I guess he just built them. Wow. He was just kind of feeling, he was feeling a little silly goofy one day. He was like, you know, it'd be really funny. I don't know what it is about this movie. And again, this may be more the genre, like that film noir genre as a whole, but there's something I really like about how slow we move through spaces as a camera. Like they just let, they give you so much time to take in little things with some of these just like completely silent scenes. Look at that futuristic TV from 2019. Enhance 224 to 176. Enhance. Stop. Brighten it. 
You always gotta brighten it for the lore. Yes. <laughs> I don't wanna uh, see. Oh, he's staring at like the veins in his hand. Pull back. Stop. My hand's 34 to 40. I have no idea what he's seeing. Is there something as a reflection, maybe of a person? No? Give me a hard copy right there. That's some wild technology. <laughs> Person just walking around with a bird on their head. I think it was manufactured locally. There is a maker serial number. Snake scale. What does a snake have to do? I'm so confused. <laughs> snake. There's a lot of leads, like one thing leading to the other, which is classic detective. Artificial snake license XB71. Not too many could afford such a quality. A few. Look, my friend. Come on, no need to be aggressive. He was answering your questions. I was gonna say, man caved pretty quickly. I don't think we needed to do all of that. Oh, this is weird. Yeah. <laughs> this feels weird in the context of all the other visuals. It's actually, it's kind of giving the capital from the Hunger Games. No, it totally you mentioned is. Every trick it, but it is, it's very much like all the rich the, the oh, rich hierarchy. Fancy. Egyptian taffy? All the time, pal. You ever see this girl, huh? Never seen a buzzer. The man is dry. Give him one of the house. I don't like how this man speaks. <laughs> what does the note say? I can't read the handwriting. I don't know. I, th I, I was guessing it was... A, I, I thought I read the word forgotten. I don't know. I think it, it's supposed to be a note from her mother to show that like they're very thorough so this is what i'm thinking if they're so thorough so many of us could be replicants and i kind of have a sense that's where this is going excuse me miss salome i'm from the american federation of variety artists <laughs> the voice that he's doing i know i'm from the uh, confidential committee on moral abuses have you felt yourself to be exploited in any way are you for real <laughs> How does she feel comfortable just like going about her day with this random man right there? Like, I, I also, don't know. I, I think this because like being in the shower is the most vulnerable place you can be. Is this a real snake? Of course it's not real. Oh my god. The flexibility. Uh, don't touch it. Like me, who do I go to about it? Me. <laughs> Dedicated man. Try me. Are you joking? What is happening right now? <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. no, 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 Honestly, no, 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 good for her. Wait, is, she a, is it because she thinks he's gonna try something or is it because she's got something to hide? <laughs> feels, it oh feels like gosh. she may have something to hide. <laughs> yeah. All these poor people just getting knocked over. I know. so chaotic. I don't know what's going on in these streets at all. This is like the slowest high-speed chase I've ever seen. It's so strange. It's so quiet. Like no one knows what's going on. Oh my gosh, not the blood all over the clear jacket. Is she a replicant? Cause she's been shot like multiple times and this girl's still running. She's like, when do they bleed? Like, we don't really know how to tell. We don't have the information. That's true. We've never seen him kill. We haven't seen him kill a replicant before. I would assume he knows what it looks like. So if he thinks something's wrong. The report would be routine retirement of a replicant. Didn't make me feel any better about shooting a woman in the back. So I guess replicants bleed. Yeah, I think they're, I think they really are just kind of pretty much it. physically indistinguishable. Cause the fact that 
we had to like analyze that scale on like a, a microscopic level to see that it was man-made. Then, you know, they I think they can make people mm-hmm. as close to the real organic thing as possible. Four more to go. There's three to go. The, the, that skin job, you VK the Tyrell Corporation. Oh. Rachel, disappeared, vanished. Oh, great. Rachel? Effie trinket coat? <laughs> Even with that hairstyle, too. For real. Go stands out. Leon, how old oh. am I? Oh. My birthday is April 10, 2017. How long do I live? Four years. Ouch. Oh my. Time to die. Rachel! Good shot, girl. But that was also significantly less blood, which I don't think is accurate for a head injury. Oh, that's cool. That's just a cool little effect. I like the little details. Ugh. Ugh. What happened? Oh, I don't like that. Did he knock out a tooth? Ugh. What if I go north? Would you come after me? Me? No, I wouldn't. I owe you one. But somebody would. Hmm, maybe it's just the lighting in the movie. His eyes do the same reflecty thingy that hers just did. Okay. Just for like a little moment. I think it may just be Decker. either it's lighting or he's a replicant. So if oh. that's the plot twist, then we called it uh-huh. from his eyes. Right. The incept date, the longevity. They're classified. Girl, it's, it's honestly probably better if you don't know. How long you have to live? You know that Voight comp test of yours? Did you ever take that test yourself? Stella, did you call it? <laughs> I don't know. I... This is what I'm gonna call. I think either he's going to be one, or it's going to be ambiguous mm. as to whether he is one. And they're gonna be like, ooh, because... I don't know, that would be a good ending. See, this is kind of what I've been wondering. Did he have all these photos out? Like, are these other people's old family photos? Or did he have all these out because he's trying to prove to himself that he's not one by going so far back? I was wondering why he had such old photos. Her hair looks amazing for just being up It really up does. Like that. <laughs> Rachel, I'm gonna be 100%. You would seem a lot more human if you moved your face just a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> that face is motionless. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. No, sorry. That musical cue is in the wrong place. I don't like this. Say, kiss me. I can't believe. Mm, she's having a wonderful time there, clearly. She was like crying moments ago. Can we stop, please? I know. This is, and I, I know, like they've set it up that he's been drinking. I don't, it doesn't matter. This is, I don't like this. And I'm sure in the context of the film and the time it was written, like, oh, well, she's just not willing to say that she wants it, right? Um, but, but she she definitely tried to leave, and we, he wouldn't let her. I was gonna say, we know enough now to know why that's such a dangerous idea, y'all. A no is a no. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was wondering when we were gonna get back to, to uh, oh, no, this cool, Chris she, and, uh, cool style. J.F. Sebastian. What? Girl, the heck? <laughs> oh my god. Just casually flexing her cartwheel ability. What? How do I look? You look better. You look beautiful. Who's that guy they keep cutting to? Who? Who is this? Do you, well, he's one of the creations, but do you think he can sense? Can they detect one another? That's, there's just so much not spoken, <laughs> man. Hi, Roy. 
This is my savior, J.F. Sebastian. You live here all by yourself, do you? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's some breakfast. There are such weird dynamics going on right yeah. now in this movie. Leon. What's going on? He's I... dead. Or he's been retired. This is just too cool of a set. It's so weird and creepy. I was gonna say, it's creepy for sure, but it is, it's... It's really, there's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of like randomness. There's a mm -hmm. lot to look at, you guys. I love looking at things, man. <laughs> what generation are you? Nexus 6. Ah. Of course he knows. Didn't he help design them? We've got a lot in common. Similar problems. Accelerated decrepitude. Do they want to live longer? Is that what this is? I would imagine. Briss hasn't got long to live. Dr. Terrell, I've only beaten him once in chess. Maybe he could help. Better if I talk to him in person. Will you help us? We need you, Sebastian. You're our best and only friend. We're so happy you found us. <laughs> what? I don't think there's another human being in the whole world who would have helped us. I'm so torn right now. Because they're so manipulative. Mm -hmm. But also, like, I don't... I don't think they deserve to die for just existing the way. Like, this is... Yeah. There's a lot going on here. Like, it's very clearly the buildup of the the history behind it. But what we're just seeing on, on film is just, like, one part of it, you know? Mm -hmm. Blue entry, a Mr. J.F. Sebastian. At this hour, what can I do for you, Sebastian? Queen to Bishop Six, check. Queen... It's on your mind, Sebastian. I feel like this would be more significant if I knew how to play chess. Bishop to King Seven. Well, it's in Check. the middle of a game, so it's not really, I yeah. think. Bishop to King Seven, checkmate, ah. I think. You better come up, Sebastian. Hmm. So, did the replicant help him win? This is, I'm a little confused. Because he did say he'd only beat him once before. I was going to say, this is like a whole... A broad friend. Process. Wow. This man, he's lived, like, this bedroom's the most rich guy bedroom. He's wearing the most rich guy robe I've ever seen. Up. Like. Yeah. I got the rich man candles and the rich man curtains. That seems to be the problem. I want more life. Fucker. To make an alteration in the evolvement of an organic life system is fatal. You were made as well as we could make you. Oh, 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 no. oh, oh, oh. I'm watching I don't think they're gonna show it. We're just gonna hear a lot of It's an implication. Noises. Or maybe we'll get one visual at the very end, but Nah, okay. Oh boy. Now he has nothing to lose. He's super dangerous. That was such a strange turn. I got not even turn of events, just a strange sequence of events. Mm -hmm. This movie's really weird. I, again, I think it's, it may imitate just kind of like styles of storytelling we're not as used to seeing anymore. Mm -hmm. Body identified with Tyrell, a 25 year old male. I want you to go down there. Rip Sebastian. Hello? Hi, is JF sir? This is Eddie, old friend of JF's. Ooh. <laughs> That wasn't suspicious at all. The Bradbury. There's gotta be like. Is that a reference? I'm to sure like that's <laughs> Ray Bradbury. Ray Bradbury. <laughs> it's got. I feel like you know, in a movie like this, this is a dystopian future. Come mm -hmm. on, we gotta reference the greats. Ooh, girl, what you doing? Her Picking eye out your next so crazy, crazy outfit. Music is so creepy. Yeah, it's weird. I've liked that they've used different influences though. Cause it, I don't know. He's just going, going about his time. <laughs> Ooh, why? Why did she do that? I have no idea. She's just quirky like that. What can we say? <laughs> 
She tried oh to my blend gosh, in. Oh my gosh, I hate this. Because she's right there, isn't she? Ugh. She's doing a fantastic job of staying perfectly still. Oh! Oh, oh. She's trying to snap his neck. Ah! <laughs> that was such a weird death scene. Oh boy. Now you gotta fight him. You move so fast. I thought you were supposed to be good. Oh my gosh. What's he gonna do? This is he's gonna like break all his fingers. This is for Pris. Dude just taking this like a champ. I'm gonna give you a few seconds before I come. One, two. Why is this guy so especially, like, fast? Four. I don't know. The Ty Tyrell did say that there's something special about him. <laughs> Stop, please. <laughs> Why is he howling? Would he, maybe, I think he may, I don't know, is he trying? Be killed? No, is he? He's not. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> no! You did not drop your gun. Are you kidding? I can see you! Why? There's so much more like body horror in these past 20 minutes. Yeah. You better get it up. I'm gonna have to kill you. She's just coming through the walls. Is he dying? Something's wrong. No, no heights, please. That's hurt. What is going on? This is crazy. <laughs> Where are you? He's climbing with broken fingers. I'm wondering because he did he reset them just now or did the guy just dislocate them? Because if you reset a dislocation, still not realistic. Yeah, it'll still hurt, more. but oh, oh no. Dude, no. See, that's where I draw the line. The amount of like grip strength it takes, it, and in the rain so to hold yourself hard, onto a ledge. Yeah. <laughs> and he's not even using those too. You're joking. Yeah, you got to be like a professional rock climber for this to. I know. Be realistic. My man is is basically floating right now. <laughs> he's just defying the strength gravity. of these two fingers are holding this man up. I bet you. This, this man's gonna come through the floor onto the roof. <laughs> With the way you it's think? been going, he's just been Honestly, bobbing he's up. just breaking through everything. It, it feels like he's, he's breaking, like he's falling apart. Mm -hmm. He doesn't seem to care at this point. And maybe it's just that he doesn't care if he dies because- It's not like he's really I guess, pressing much he's longer. He's lost everyone though. Yeah, yeah, he's lost everyone. He's only got two years left anyways at this point. I don't know. Oh no. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? Kinship. Kinship? Is does he know that he's also a 
When did he lose his pants? He's still holding the dove. I've seen things. I've seen this shot before. All those moments will be lost. Time to die. <laughs> Harrison Ford's face is my face too, huh? I don't know why he saved my life. I guess you're through, huh? I thought he was on a rooftop. What's happening? I think this guy landed on the rooftop and he's flying police mobile. Oh, I forgot they can fly. You're right. Right? The future changes a lot. <laughs> Too bad she won't live. But then again, who does? Are you talking about Rachel? Yeah, definitely. But is he talking about in time or now? Like, is someone on their way to her now? Oh, his door's already open. She might be dead already. She was just taking a nap. Do you love me? I love you. It's been one day. Let's, let's <laughs> slow it down a little bit. I trust you. To be fair, she's gonna be dead soon. Yeah, might as well. Might as well trust him. Oh, this is, this feels so weird. Oh, a little, a little, a little origami guy. Oh no. It's a unicorn. And now to end your viewing experience, smooth jazz from whoever made the music. <laughs> yeah, it been there and let her live. I was going to say that's what it meant by yeah. her leaving. Mm-hmm. Tyrell had told me Rachel was special. She no termination date. For normal? Well, for a normal mad time, I mean? No, how long we'd have together. Who does? Good on Yaf. He might have just done it because he wanted the promotion, but still. Yeah, but either way, appreciate it. The music does slap. Yeah, no, okay. Okay, Soundtrack that was James slaps. Hong. Right? That was James Hong. The like well, I'm, Chinese I don't know guy. Who that is. Okay, um he's been in like a million things. Um everywhere, everywhere, all at once. Um Oh, was he, he he's was like the famous the grandpa. actor who played that yeah. the, the Super grandpa. So I, I knew that that actor was famous. Okay, that I did recognize him, like his face. I knew I knew it from somewhere. That's the only movie I would have seen with him though, because I remember when I was watching that movie, people were like, Oh my gosh, it's this guy and I was like, It's I, James I haven't seen another Have you movie seen Kung Fu Panda? Guy. He's the goose in Kung Fu Panda. Not also. in a long time. He's the voice of the goose. <laughs> He's the, oh, the dad okay, goose. <laughs> is near and dear to my heart for reasons. But um yeah, we we did it. It we I watched feel like this it. is this was kind of a monumental movie. Like this is been a long time coming. This is one of those movies that if this wasn't my job, I, w this is like, I'd been meaning to get around to it. I have to watch this. I really, really want to watch the sequel. Um, I would say it's not what I expected. Not at all. Um, I wouldn't say it's better or worse than I expected. I think it's about, in terms of like quality and the way that it's, you know, the way that it's aged, it, it is about what I expected. Um, but I don't know. What do you think? I'd love to hear your takes first. Um, uh, okay. Um, I, I get why it's a classic. Watching this, I'm like, okay, this is a really, really interesting concept, a really interesting genre choice to tell this particular story. Um, mm -hmm. I think that the ideas are there. I think the concept is really, really interesting. Yes. I... <laughs> I think maybe they could have done more with it. I feel like with the That's... actual story that we ended up with, it's like a little bit lackluster. <laughs> Sorry, no. guys. Um, it teases at some really cool topics. Mm -hmm. I don't know. This is one of those those few, and I maybe it's because this is just such a a pop culture behemoth 
you know, mm-hmm. and it's it's very hard to have existed and not heard about this film, especially because of the, the I guess, reboot slash sequel. I think it's a sequel. Um, but I almost felt like it was shorter than I wanted. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I was looking up the runtime of these movies because I like to know how long, you know, we like to know how long we're going to be sitting here. And I expected it to be like over two hours. And this is an hour and 50 mi- 57. That was the, the runtime. So if, if people are like, oh, there's a director's cut that's two and a half hours, let us know. <laughs> I couldn't find it. It looked like most of the versions that are available are the same length. But that's surprising because it felt short. Like it felt like they could have done a lot more if they wanted to. Mm-hmm. Um, and maybe they do. Maybe that's 2049's job. I don't know. There are some, it's, it definitely is an interesting watch. I think I'd recommend it to people. I would say like there's stuff that obviously hasn't aged well. And I think um, there are a few explorations that maybe could use some more nuanced writing, you know? Mm Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I don't want to complain too much because I know that that the scene like I had never seen this their their love scene before and I'm hesitant to call it a love scene for obvious reasons but I had yeah. heard about it um and I don't want to so I don't want to just talk about that because I think that's like an elephant in the room everybody knows that that's you know not necessarily directed in great taste but I think also in general that character was a letdown Rachel was a letdown oh. like did you feel that way she had like a few scenes i I don't think she had any depth. <laughs> she and I mean, like how it's it feels frustrating that in the midst of all of this, she's the one who lives, and like this this the technically the villain got more characterization than her. She really is just mm-hmm. a love interest. But like, this is a movie that I feel like the concept is so good, and the execution is pretty good, but. With the concept that this, that's this good, I, it's it's such a waste to have mm-hmm. characters undeveloped, just left undeveloped for the rest yeah. of the film. That's kind of, a, I think, a waste of your time. Um, but I don't want to talk about bad stuff too much because, to be honest, I had a good time while I was watching, you know, almost all of it. And a lo- again, a lot of it is just, it is a product of its time. Um, and I think love scenes like that, forceful love scenes, we'll say, were more common because big misconceptions about, oh, you know, she's just, she just, she's just shy. She just doesn't, she doesn't want to say yes and then sound too eager. So you really got to push. You know, we know now, obviously not the case. Um, But I don't know. I think if anything, this has set me up, like I'm really excited for the next one because I feel like this handled with the, the kind of vision of, a director from the last decade is really interesting. Not to say better or worse, I haven't seen it yet, but I think they could do a lot of cool things with this subject matter um, in a in a very relevant way, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, it was, yeah, it was <laughs> What a movie. It was weird. Yeah, what a movie. Very um, gray. Yeah. Like no, one's, no one comes out looking great. No, no, not at all. Um, I also, I know, I'm sure it's on purpose because of the genre, this like film noir type genre. And I know you were really appreciating the long shots, but oh my God, there were a lot. Um, It's weird because this movie is so short, but I feel like if you cut out the really long shots, it could be like 40 minutes shorter. It's a a bit of a crawl. (sighs) Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just like, I'm just so used to other genres that I'm like sitting there like, I'm like, okay, okay, can we move it along a little bit? (laughs) Because I just felt like sometimes the story wasn't moving very, like really at all in the middle. (laughs) Well, I think looking back on it now, having finished it, that's what makes it feel so short, even though it wasn't like it is a two hour movie. It's long enough. But it feels short kind of in retrospect because it moves very slowly. So when you combine all those events, you're like, not that much really happened. Um, 
I happen to like that style a lot, but it's mm-hmm. it's really I don't know, it's it's got its its downfalls because there were definitely I think there were moments in the story where I was kind of and you also it's 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 important to remember too like this may be in the film noir style, but that was a style during its time for a reason. And especially like if you even like go look at black and white films, those shots are so long because it was easier to shoot things that way. You couldn't have a billion mm-hmm. cameras set up everywhere for cut, 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 cut. Yeah. But I think it at least gives the movie a really interesting feeling. Like it makes it stand out and feel unique. Um, mm-hmm. But it's not an action movie. And it's not a very fun movie, really. No, you know, it's it's it's, it's not at it's all. It's pretty anti-fun. So <laughs> I I really enjoyed it. I think I, I want to do a little more research on it before I like form a full opinion. Mm-hmm. But I, it's not something I'd like recommend to everyone. Um, and that's I think that's I like being able to say that about a movie because it shows that you know it'll hit some audiences, won't resonate so much with other audiences. But mostly, I'm just I think potentially a lot of how I feel about this one will depend on how they kind of expand the world and the ideas that they opened up in the next one. Mm -hmm. So I guess if you guys want to see that, you better come back next week. (laughs) Mark my words. It's going to be a good one because I've been waiting to see 2049 for, uh, since it came out. Um, And obviously had never seen this one. So I was like, can't, I can't watch that. (laughs) So yeah. As always, the full reaction, a full length reaction to to Blade Runner will be up on our Patreon, along with early access to Blade Runner 2049. Um, Thank you guys so much for being here and joining us and watching. If you're new, please consider subscribing and sticking around because we would love to have you. And if you do decide to stick around, we'll see you all in the next reaction. (laughs) 